place. Uh, the the uh, Adsburg, I think it was. I think that's where I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to Adsburg. It was either Adsburg or Van Horn. One of the two. Van Horn is the place with the with the bar, the saloon. And Adsburg is the one that doesn't have a saloon. I'm gonna go to a place that has a saloon, so I'll be going to Van Horn, I guess. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of an investigation down that way, I guess. Since why not, I guess. Because it will actually help me out with uh, explaining who Eddie Cran... Uh, well, he's not Eddie Crandell anymore, isn't he? He doesn't go by that last name, I don't think, anymore. Oh, Sag. Sag, Eddie. Sag. Eddie's just going to go back to not having a last name. He used to never have a last name. Until like recently, he gained a last name. And now he's lost the last name again. Eddie, you suck, man. You suck. You are called Eddie Mr. No Name. Mr. Eddie No Name. Eddie, Eddie No Name. Perfect. Oh, shit. Well, that doesn't surprise me. That really doesn't. Right, where's the fast travel? I don't want to be anywhere near my horse. Uh, the Van Horn, wasn't it? Yep. Lovely. Right, I'm going to the saloon. I'm done. No, I'm going to the saloon. And fuck this. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm gonna make this bastard drink. Because Why? I feel like he should. Why am Ain't I still in this outfit? Face. Oh, you can shut up. I need to change, I need to change my outfit, actually. I need to change my outfit. I'm not in the winter place anymore. Right, okay. Uh, that's an old. Wait, which, what fucking outfit am I wearing? This one? Yeah, we'll go with this one. I like this one. Even though I look like Dutch Mandolin. It's all good. Oh, this is again. like a fancy one. You need something? Yes, I need a drink, actually. Yeah. Uh, I feel like uh, for me, Eddie's more of a beer guy, but like if he's celebrating, then whiskey will probably be something that he'll drink. I wonder how many drinks does it take for Eddie to get drunk? That is actually a question that I'm wondering. Cold right, it's time to investigate. I don't know what's stronger, beer or whiskey, so this might take a while depending, but I think they both do the same. Cheers. I don't give a shit if I'm wasting 50 cents on this. I'm interested. I want to know. Okay, we're starting to get a little bit tipsy now at five. Okay. I made another drunk mess in here. Careful. Oh, sh shut up. I need to. This is this is the test. I need to know. Well, alright, if you can handle it. I don't think I can handle it. Somehow my character's talking whilst drinking at the same time. I don't think that's Here's supposed to happen. This is my last one, because now I think I'm actually drunk. Okay, Eddie, lovely. You're, you're doing great. Don't get into trouble out there. Oh, I'm going to get into a lot of trouble. Watch yourself. What's up, bitch? <laughs> what? Yes, drunk fighting. <laughs> don't give a shit if it's antagonization. Uh, yeah, it. don't go oh, way. shit, I just hit the horse. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, great. Uh, hi, how's it going? Um, go I can't shoot. What can I shoot? Hi. Um, wait, I just still... Okay, I can't aim even when I am drunk. <laughs> Dead Eye Core is empty. You can rest, smoke cigars, eat food, or drink coffee and alcohol to refill your Dead Eye Core. Yeah, we're not going anywhere near the alcohol for a while. Where's my hat gone? I've lost my hat. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Where's my horse? You're telling me... I think I lost everything in that fight. Was there a bet for my hat on my horse if I lost? No, my horse is up there taking its fucking time to come help me out here. Horse, I need it. Thank you. Bryden, how's it going? Now, I, I, need my, I need my hat back. Can I get my hat back? I need my hat. Okay, there you go. Got my hat. Right, now. Where were we going originally? We were going to... Not up there, not anymore. We are going up to this place because I was going to do a explanation on yeah. this geezer, this goon, this mistake that I've made of this character that's in Red Dead. Yeah, I'm going to call him a mistake from now on. That's why I know him as. Eddie the Mistake. You don't need a last name. You just need that title and everyone, everyone will make... A fucking fall out of here. 
Yeah, I'm a cruel person and I know it. Right, okay, so the area shouldn't be so far away. Now, before I even get to that place, yes, I know, in the story mode, it's completely different. But it's for a roleplay that me and my mates were doing for a very long time, and Eddie has become a character that I play as in Red Dead Online. So, I used Marco Dragic's science lab as part of Eddie's backstory, okay? I used it. But it isn't how you'd think with... Like, I know Marco Dradic now owns that said lab. But, like, I made it so Marco Dradic also experimented on people, which kind of makes sense, because, like, the boss is, like, to me, like, sure, he does, like, robots and that, but I feel like anything's possible here in Red Dead. Because, like, in, this, in the house, there's, like, a house uh, across from Adsburg. But you remember that? Yeah, okay, some of you guys don't play Red Dead, but you, if there's like this yellow house with like this mutant creature and there's like human skulls and brains and animal carcasses that have been sewn together. So human experimenting and animal experimenting was a thing here at Red Dead. So I made it so my character Eddie here was one of them exact experiments. Now no, he doesn't have any animal creature-like things sewn to him, obviously. I don't think so, anyways. I mean, unless he's hiding a tail under that, that pair of trousers that he has. And no, I don't think he does. I don't think he is half animal or anything. At least not one I'm aware of. <laughs> At least that's not what I'm aware of. But uh, that's that, that, that. Oh, Jesus Christ. This horse is going to be the death of me. Oh, horse, stop. Vibe with me, please. Be nice. Be nice to me, dude. Please. Or you'll, you'll go... Or I'll sell you to make you into glue. I will. I will do it. Don't test me! Alright, okay. Are we even close to the set area where I want to be? So I can actually explain more of what the fuck is going on with this horse. Horse. Vibe. Okay, I know his cores are low, but still. Just, just work with me for a minute. We're close to the said lab that I want to be at, so I can explain more of what I'm doing. But it's hard to do it when my horse is just bailing on me a little bit. Right, fine. I'm just going to stab some drugs into you, I guess. Oh, use horse sonics? That's a... Okay, we'll add some more drugs into my horse then. That's fine. Overdose the horse. It's fine. It's okay. It's legal. Very much so. Okay, right. So here's the area. Right, okay, so this is the area that I was on about, this weird-ass lab. I'm not going to show you guys the yellow house, because that's quite far away. I might do near the end, but right now, no, I'm doing this. So, this lab is originally owned by Marco Dragic, which in the story mode, but I think I might change it to a different person in the said roleplay that I'm doing with my mates. Or used to be doing with my mates at the moment. I'm doing a side thing, which is the Eddie Adventures, where it's him by himself doing stupid shit every now and then. There might be other people, but it's just Eddie doing his own little thing. Uh, so at the moment, this is the lab that Eddie was experimented in. Uh, so that's why I'm saying that he's from Britain, because I think what I want to do is that he was originally from Britain. I don't know what happened to his parents. I think his parents, in my opinion, I feel like his parents just didn't want the fucker. <laughs> to be honest. Either they just didn't want Eddie, or they died. And I want to say they probably just didn't want him. <laughs> they really didn't. And, like, so the thing that they did is, like, sold him off to, like, the highest bidder, which was this science guy. <laughs> Bill Nye the science guy fucking bought Eddie. Nah, no, 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 not like that, not like that. No, I don't think Bill was even around during these times. I mean, it's Bill Williamson, but I doubt he's even smart enough to even know what 2 plus 2 is. But, so he got bought off when he was a child. Uh, I'm going to say when he was, like, probably, like, a newborn, probably, because I bet they just didn't want him, like, instantly, and probably, like, a year after he was finally bidded off. So, yeah. Probably like a year old, maybe. A year or two old. And he was like, experimented on in this place. This 
this great fucking area. I really hate this place. That's another reason why I put it as an experimental thing for Eddie. Because I hate this area. So, I already had a hate for this place. So, why not make it even more worse? Why not make it some place for my character to have PTSD every time he comes into this said country? Yeah, it works perfectly. So... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, Eddie, Eddie has PTSD every time he comes into this said science lab. Or whenever he comes into the Roanoke Ridge area. Because he remembers where he's from. He remembers what this place was like for him. And he just doesn't like this place. Um, so, he did later, of course, escape, obviously. Otherwise, he wouldn't be here. He probably would be dead by now or something. Because Marco Dragic... Or at least the science guy that I'm basing off, Marco Dragic, isn't really that good of a scientist, I don't think. He does way more mistakes than anyone has done, to be honest, in my opinion. So the science guy, he was horrible to Eddie. He was terrible to the, to the boy, honestly. And then when Eddie reached the age of 15, 16, maybe a little bit younger, he escaped from this said science lab and ran off into the nearest town, which was Van Horn, I think it was. No, it was... Ad what, what is the nearest town, actually? Hold on a minute. Ansberg. Okay, so he ran to the nearest town, which is Ansberg. He ran, because obviously this bastard didn't have a horse, he doesn't have a gun, he has nothing. Just ragged clothes, and that's really it. So he's running for his life. Also, there's also Murphy Brood that lives in this area as well, if you guys don't even know. The Murphy Brood are the most terrible people ever they kill anyone on site they rob anyone on site hey they even eat some people because i've been told that they like in one encounter they have with them in the story mode they say something about how some normal people smell like dinner to them so i assume they're cannibals as well so eddie's like running from both probably the murphy brood and also this science geezer that just wants to experiment on the poor bastard so he's running for his life he's running all the way to ansberg he makes it to Ansberg. Now, here's one thing I haven't really thought about here. So, there's this character. Now, I'm basing this off the old roleplay that I did a while ago with Dickhead and... Did I hear a wolf that was just getting really mad in the background? I heard, like, a wolf growling. I really hated that. That scared me. Oh, I hate this. You know what? I do hate this area all the time. Like, normally I hate this area. But now... I feel like basing this place for my story for my character just makes me hate it even more. Right, I'm here. Okay, okay, let's just continue. I'm gonna shut these doors. I really don't. I'm having. <laughs> I don't like how these doors are just open. Close them. Just close. Close the doors. Just, just keep everything out. Right, as I was saying. So I'm gonna base this off the old role play that I was doing with some mates originally, where it was me. Some dickhead named Emil. Some of you guys might know him, some of you guys might not, depending on who's watching this video. And my friend Six. So you guys might know him as other names, but I know him as Six, or as his roleplay name, Arthur. So, um, I think what happened was, I think Eddie ran into Arthur. I don't know if I'm going to add Ty into this story, to be honest, because Ty doesn't do the roleplays with us anymore because he was a dick. I'm allowed to say it. It's my channel. I'm allowed to call him a dick because he was a dick. Everyone in the in my subscription, like all you subscribers and viewers, you guys will agree he was a dick. All of you would. Like, I bet if I see a comment that says, yes, he is, damn it. I fucking love you. Whoever says, yes, he is, and agree with me. I love all of you who agree with me that Tyler is a dick. But anyways... So I'm just going to add just the uh, Six's character into this. So Arthur. Arthur. I don't know his last name because, again, we've had some roleplay differences at the moment. So I don't know people's last names. All I know is that people still have their first names still. It's just last names might be changing. It might not. I'm not really sure. I am not smart enough for this shit. I normally leave it for Arthur to do it or because he knows what's up. I don't. So I'm... Probably, I feel like Eddie would have just ran into Arthur, probably. Like, Arthur was originally a bounty hunter, I think his character was. Or something. Like, he worked for uh, Sheriff Stone. At least that's what I remember in, like, the last roleplay that we did. There was this guy called Sheriff Stone that he was doing a bounty hunting for. But the thing with Arthur is that he did it his own way. 
So if he wanted to just shoot the bastard, he could just shoot the bastard. If he wants to bring the guy alive, he could bring the guy alive. He does it on his own terms. So he was working as a bounty hunter during this time as Eddie ran away. So what I want to say is probably Eddie might have ran into Arthur when he was in Van Horn or Annisburg investigating a bounty. Because in Annisburg there is a sheriff's office. Which I think you could go to in the game. I think. Yeah, there is. There is a sheriff's office. So I assume that he was probably doing some bounty hunting up near Adsburg because some people got... Just to try and capture some, like, I don't know, some Murphy broods or some people who've been uh, accused of working with the Murphy brood or whatever. And so he was up here doing some work on that and Eddie might have ran into him whilst running away from some crazy science dude. I still haven't really thought of a name for the science dude, but I will get to there at some point. Or if you guys think of a name for uh, the science dude, then tell me. I feel like Eddie would have ran into Arthur after he ran away from the science dude. Like, right after he just ran all the way to Adsburg and luckily ran into uh, Arthur. Now, I think originally, I think Arthur wasn't really keen with Eddie. Like, Eddie was too, like, I don't know, too childish, too weak too clumsy and stuff but after a while Arthur did actually grow on Eddie I think because like you know Arthur I think what I knew from like the old role play that we were doing he I think Arthur lost his family due to I think some douchebags I like I said Arthur didn't really explain much uh, the thing with Arthur okay the thing with Six's character is that his character was always so secretive, which I loved about that character, which I loved about Arthur. Because it just makes me just want to try and investigate more on Arthur and get to know the guy more. Which is why it's hard to explain about Arthur more than it is as hard to explain about Eddie. Because Eddie, sure, I could just think about things on the spot for him. But Arthur, Arthur, there's like a whole story for Arthur that Six has. But it's hard to really explain because, you know, Six never really explained about Arthur very much. He always kept it hidden for everybody to try and figure out themselves. It's like a massive mystery. It was always a mystery for Arthur to always be the secretive guy. But what I do remember in an old roleplay that his family was like either killed in front of him or they disappeared or whatever. It was something like that. And so maybe, maybe, maybe Arthur might have saw like his like child and Eddie or something like you know what I mean like because I think he had a son or something originally that died and then he said well Eddie's kind of like my son like he's like my old son that I used to have because I remember him saying that once this is Giza what the fuck why do I keep hearing cougars and wolves and that out the fucking door I don't like it I don't like it at all I'm just here trying to explain and the fucking cougar keeps stopping me in my tracks just hang on a minute. But anyways, but anyways. So, what I was saying is, yeah. So, Arthur kind of saw one of his kids in Eddie. As what's been said. So, that probably explains why Arthur obviously kept Eddie under his wig. And obviously, like, kept the boy. I'm not really sure how old Eddie was when he did run away. I did say 15, but during the roleplay and during the time of him being with Arthur, he is like 16, 17, somewhere around there. So he might have ran away a little bit younger and then spent some time with Arthur for a few years to then grow up to kind of be like Arthur since Arthur's like the only father figure Eddie has had other than like... I mean, I don't want to count the science guy because the science guy didn't really like Eddie at all. He wanted nothing to do with the guy, like, at all. But, um, just the thing is, is that Eddie still doesn't really know how to ride a horse. So the thing with Eddie, he's a slow learner. He's a really, really slow learner. He's still clumsy and childish, even at 17. But, he is pretty decent with a gun when he has to be. Like, in my opinion, Eddie could never miss a shot with a gun. Once he started learning how to use a gun, he would never miss a shot. Like, Probably like 80% of the time, he would never miss a shot. Sometimes he would, but most of the time, he probably would do pretty well with a gun. It's just riding a horse. No one is ever going to help Eddie ride a horse. Like, that's how he met his... Um... Okay, so I made Eddie a boyfriend that he has called Wilbur. Wilbur Ridgewell, I think the guy was called. Uh, Eddie ran into the said guy on his horse. They both clashed into each other because Eddie wasn't paying attention to the road he wasn't paying attention 
to what was in front of him. He was too busy looking at something that he saw. I think he probably saw like a squirrel or something. Yeah, I get distracted by squirrels sometimes in real life. So Eddie, yeah, he got distracted by a squirrel. Ran into poor Wilbur and then they started liking like each other. You could technically say that Eddie fell for him. I guess. That's another reason why I wanted to do that. Just so I could make a joke. Same with riding my horse. You know, my right riding the horse, like riding a horse. Yeah, that's that's exactly why I did that. So that was just really it for this video. To be honest, I think it was just this video just to explain about Eddie and who he is and what I'm gonna be doing with Eddie. So the thing I'm gonna be doing with Eddie, this character right here, is Eddie Adventures. So Eddie Adventures is just gonna be my roleplay character, Eddie Eddie no last name acquired because he doesn't have a last name yet. We'll think of one at some point. Depending on how I feel. Who knows? So, it's just going to be like a side thing that I do. Where Eddie just goes on adventures doing silly things around town. Messing around. Even going out drinking. Doing stranger missions. Messing around with other players on the servers. Just doing his own little thing. Like, this is literally what Eddie does when Arthur, when Arthur isn't supervising him. This is what he's out doing. Basically, that's what it is. So yeah, that's really what I wanted to do for this video, was just to explain about Eddie. Uh, if you guys do enjoy my videos, then do like, uh, comment and subscribe. Because, like I said, I am going to try and record a little bit more often now. I am going to try and get more of a schedule in. So I'm not posting like every like six or so weeks to like a month. I am going to try and post constantly. That's why I want to do something other than Overwatch. Because Overwatch, you can only do so much on Overwatch. Whereas there are other games I could try playing, like Red Dead, I'm doing the Eddie adventures from Red Dead. Minecraft, I might get a Minecraft survival series up, like the realm where I do like a roleplay. Kind of what the Dream SP, Hermitcraft, Empires does, where there's like a roleplay going up in a survival server. Might do that, might not, it depends how you guys feel. Um, what else? Uh, Roblox, I might do some things on Roblox, probably not many games because I don't really like Roblox as much as Red Dead, Minecraft and Overwatch. But Roblox, I might either play Friday Night Funky Games or Doors. Doors is quite fun. I played it a few times back when I first started doing YouTube videos. Then I hid the dub because uh, originally I wasn't going to be doing Roblox videos. But now I might. So I might do Doors. Heck, I might even try and find some of my mates to join me to do the videos with me. But who knows? Time can only tell. Anyways. I'll see you guys on the next video. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you all you dudes in the next video. Bye guys.